Okay, so Lifestyle Labs did one, so I figured I'd do it too, especially since I do get asked this question quite a lot. Hey, it's Chris and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going over some of my favorite drinkware for sipping coffee that I use here at home. Now, first of all, I never thought I'd be making a video like this ever on YouTube, but I do get this question asked enough where I think this might be helpful. So a quick disclaimer, I will mention when something was gifted to me or not, but regardless, all thoughts and opinions remain my own. Okay, so let's go from small to large, starting with espresso. And first of all, I absolutely love these glasses from Kruv. I think these are called the Propel Espresso Glasses. Um, they look great for taking pictures of. They're super nice and made of great quality. Um, swirling espresso in it creates this very nice sort of cascading effect that's absolutely lovely to see. These were sent to me along with some other crew glass where I'll get into a little bit later, but I do really enjoy these glasses, especially for espresso. Now, another espresso glass I really like are these uh, spouted little shot glasses from Barista Basics. I've actually had these for over a year now that I did by myself and it's perfect because they have spouts perfect for dumping espresso into a glass for iced lattes or other iced espresso drinks. Now, moving up on sizes, I do have the Fellow Monte. Um, this is the Cortado sized Fellow Monte cup. And I think of course this suits my setup very well in the matte black aesthetic um, with a nice sort of glossy bottom here. On the website, they do say that the larger ones have an inner curve designed for latte art, but then again, so do like 90% of the coffee cups I see online, um, but I do really like these cups. Next, I also have the Kruv Imagine glasses, again, sent to me, and I have these in the Cortado, Cappuccino, and latte sizes, and they are all great. Um, they have a nice, very wide um, top surface here so that it gives you a large canvas for pouring latte art. I think Prometheus has a video about these that are a little bit more in depth, so I will link that somewhere up here. Um, and I do have this again in multiple sizes, and I think they also look really great to photograph. For my cappuccino size drinkware, I have these unique porcelain ones from Thoughts and Objects Design based in Canada that I really love using every once in a while. Um, in the past, I've also used some other cups like the Not Nitro Vero and Lino series that I actually regret selling when I moved apartments, so I might pick them up again sometime in the future. Um, but you can see these cups being used in a lot of my older Workflow Wednesday videos. Currently, my absolute favorite cup is the Acme Evo. These have a very nice uh, rounded rim that just feel nice in the lips to sip from, which sounds like a weird thing to say, but it's true. They have a very cool um, embossed logo on the bottom as well. Now for my latte cups, uh, you'll see these red origami ones that I feature every once in a while and are in a lot of my photos because I like the red accent. Um, they're pretty similar to the Acme cups, but they're quite a bit larger and the rim is not as big and curved. Um, these are great when you need a huge latte with a quad shot early mornings. So now moving on to my non-espresso drinks uh, drinkware. I have the fellow Joey mugs that I've been eyeing for a long time and are seemingly impossible to find in stock. These were actually sent to me by my friend Brian, who has a great coffee-centric channel as well, so be sure to go and check him out. I absolutely love the weight of these cups, and they, of course they have this nice goldish bronzes, bronze ish uh, base that provides a nice accent color. When taking coffee on the go, which I actually rarely do nowadays, I use the Fellow Carter that I got custom engraved by Penny and Merriweather. Um, these are really nice, of course. You, heard, you hear about the Carter all the time. They have a new uh, lid design as well you can pick up where you just press a button and it pops open rather than having to unscrew it like this. Um, but if I'm gonna bring coffee on the go, this is what I'm gonna go for. And finally, my absolute favorite drinkware of all time has got to be the Ember Mug. Yes, it's expensive, but yes, it's so, so worth it. When working at home all day on my desk, having my coffee stay at the perfect drinking temperature is such a nice luxury to have. The Ember Mug is absolutely my favorite mug for coffee. Um, and I use this thing whenever I'm doing a pour over pretty much. So anyways, that is currently all of the drinkware I have and use here at home or on the go and that I also take photos of whenever I'm posting on Instagram. So hopefully that answers a lot of your guys' questions and DMs that I get all the time about the drinkware that I use. Thanks for watching this quick little video. Like this video if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one.